Who names their company after a cloud? Who owns a company with industry firsts like full aircraft parachutes, the first single engine light jet, an auto landing system, and the first mass produced general aviation composite aircraft? Brothers do. They own Cirrus. Hello, I am Longchair. Today I will be talking about the Cirrus Design Corporation. It was founded in 1984 and today is one of the leading light aircraft manufacturers in the world. Cirrus was founded in Wisconsin in 1984 by brothers Allen and Dale. Their first aircraft was the VK-30 home-built kit plane. It was a single-engine aircraft with a pusher propeller. A pusher prop is an aircraft with a propeller facing the rear. The VK-30 had five seats and an all-composite construction. It was powered by an IO 550G horizontally opposed six-cylinder engine in the rear fuselage. It was introduced at the Oshkosh Air Venture Air Show in Wisconsin in 1984 and first flew on February 11, 1988. In 1993, production of assembly kits was ended. The lessons learned from the VK-30 would be applied to Cirrus's next aircraft, the SR-20. The next aircraft produced by Cirrus was an absolute hit, the SR-20. It is one of the most popular general aviation aircraft in the United States, and it was also the first foreign general aviation aircraft to be certified by the European Union. Flying in 1995, the brothers built the SR-20 in a factory rather than as a kit. They moved their headquarters to Minnesota and were regulars at Oshkosh. In 2003, the SR-20 was upgraded from an analog cockpit setup to a glass cockpit, or digital. The aircraft is a five-seat sport general aviation aircraft powered by a 215 horsepower flat six engine. It is the first general aviation aircraft with a full aircraft parachute called a CAPIS, which stands for Cirrus Airframe Protection System. It is the safest aircraft in the industry other than the Diamond DA-40. The aircraft is still in production to this day with the sixth generation version available for order now. This is the aircraft Cirrus is really famous for. The SR-22 is the most produced aircraft in the 21st century, passing aircraft like Diamond and Pilatus. One reason it continues to be built to this day is because of its safety history. It is equipped with a CAPIS, an electronic stability protection unit, and a cuffed wing, which minimizes the risk of a spin. It is technically a larger version of the SR-20 with a 310 horsepower flat six engine. The SR-22 is updated constantly to keep up with technology. Today, the cockpit is fitted with a Garmin Perspective Plus avionics. The owners could switch out those for something like PS Engineering. Avionics are the analog and electrical gauges, maps, dials, and computers that give pilot information about the plane. The Garmin Perspective Plus contains features like emergency auto land, Sirius XM, collision avoidance, and is 10 times faster than its predecessor. These aircraft cost in the range of $500,000 to $1 million. The aircraft are built in Minnesota, then is delivered to Knoxville, Tennessee for final details. If you are interested in things to do in Knoxville, check out my video from my time in Knoxville. At the Cirrus base, the aircraft is presented to the owner. Unveiled in 2007, the Vision Jet was the first successful aircraft in its category. Certified as a single-engine light jet, pilots say that it performs more like a turboprop, aka the flying magazine. It is powered by a Williams turbofan based on top of the fuselage. The jet has seven seats, straight wings, and an intake on the top for the engine, plus a V-shaped tail. Unlike the rest of Cirrus aircraft, it has retractable landing gear. There are now two generations of jets, with the G2 having a higher cruise altitude and speed. The Vision Jet is equipped with the Garmin Perspective Plus avionics, a pressurized cabin, in-flight Wi-Fi, and the Capus parachute system. This parachute is available exclusively on the Vision Jet. No other jet has one. These jets are also delivered to Knoxville. The Vision Jet has also won the Collier Trophy, which is awarded for the greatest achievements in aeronautics in America. Today, Cirrus is headquartered in Minnesota, and its customer headquarters is in Knoxville, Tennessee. In March of 2019, Flying Magazine author Stephen Pope took a trip to Knoxville to check out the new Cirrus Vision Center. There, he was treated to the new Cirrus campus at Mickey Tyson Airport. When Stephen or other Cirrus owners come to pick up their planes, they are given the keys to a new Audi. Pope got the entire Smoky Mountain slash Knoxville experience from America's most visited national park, the Tennessee River, and Market Square. If you're interested in things to do, check out my video on Knoxville, link in the description. Today, Cirrus is owned by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or the AVIC. 
From the world's first successful light jet to the most produced aircraft in the 21st century, Cirrus Design Corporation has set itself out from the most famous of manufacturers. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It would help a lot. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Enjoy your day, and thank you for watching.